today's video, we're going to examine the history behind this stunning and intelligent Vimarana. Welcome back to the Fenrir Vimarana Show. My name's Rachel and I'm the co-founder here at FenrirK9Needers.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything that you could possibly want to know about the Vimarana, then how to become a high-level canine leader that can raise the perfect canine companion. So if you're a lifelong Vimarana lover, thinking about getting one or just starting your journey with your new Vimarana, then this channel is for you. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you never miss a future Vimarana video. So let's dive straight in and take a look at the origins of this unique breed. The Vimarana originated in Germany in the early 19th century, making it a fairly modern breed. The Grand Duke Karl August from the town of Weimar was a keen sportsman and aspired to create the perfect hunting dog. He dreamt of a sturdy, intelligent companion to accompany him and assist him in the field. Karl August would therefore become a pivotal figure in the creation of this breed. It's thought that he crossed bloodhounds with a range of German and French hunting dogs, which would eventually result in the Weimar Pointer, or Weimarana. These dogs were incredibly intelligent, durable and could reach running speeds of up to 35 miles an hour. Today they remain one of the fastest dog breeds in the world. These many strengths were put to use by the Duke and his fellow noblemen, and the Weimarana was first used for hunting bears, mountain lions, wolves and other big game. However, when the population of these animals began to dwindle in Europe, the breed began to be utilised as an all-purpose hunter, instead pointing and retrieving smaller game like birds and rabbits. Hey guys, I wanted to very quickly let you know, if you're not already, that you should absolutely be following us over on Instagram. There'll be links down in the description box below, but we've got multiple Instagrams. One for Fenrir, our company, where you can see all of the awesome things that we're doing over there. You could follow me personally over on Instagram, or maybe come and check out our journey with our 12-week-old English Mastiff puppy Eileen. Either way, can't wait to see you over there. The development of the breed was closely supervised by the German Weimaraner Club, even to the extent that no dogs were allowed to be sold to anyone who was not a member. However, despite efforts to keep the breed a closely held secret from the rest of the world, the Weimaraner began to arrive in America in the late 1920s. It was then recognised by the American Kennel Club officially in 1943, and by the 50s the breed had massively increased in popularity, both as a hunting dog and a companion. They even gained the endorsement of celebrity with the likes of President Eisenhower and Grace Kelly choosing them as pets. Eisenhower's Weimarana was called Heidi and lived in the White House with the first family during his presidency. Photographer and artist William Wegman's Weimarana portraits not only made him world famous, but also brought the breed further into the public eye. Alongside its other skills, the Weimarana also has an incredibly advanced sense of smell. Because of this, they may have been used in many search and rescue missions, including missing person cases. One Weimarana called Dingo is particularly well known for his help during the Cold War. Dingo was selected to help sniff out small parts of missiles that had been coated in shark liver oil. They were fired in the desert by scientists in order for them to recover and study the pieces of shrapnel. Whilst doing this, Dingo was even given a special jacket to wear, which was filled with ice cubes to keep him cool during the summer months. Often referred to as the Grey Ghost due to its distinctive silvery coat, the Weimarana is a large, highly intelligent breed. They usually grow up to 70 centimetres or 28 inches tall and typically weigh up to 37 kilograms or 80 pounds. Females are normally smaller and lighter. The Weimaran is best suited to experienced owners who enjoy time in the great outdoors as they do require a huge amount of daily exercise as well as constant mental stimulation. Handlers that are willing to put in this time and effort with their Weimarana will be rewarded with a wonderfully devoted, intelligent companion. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video and that you learned something new. If so, make sure you hit that like button and get involved down in the comments section below. And don't forget that if you're new here to make sure that you subscribe. We have three dedicated Weimarana videos coming here every week, so I can't wait to talk to you again soon on the next episode of the Fenrir Weimarana Show.